Okay, so binomial expansion. First thing, I somehow managed to forget to print this page, but never mind. Um, binomial expansion formula is given in the formula book. Remember that it has to be in the form 1 plus x to the n, and it gives you as 1 plus nx, n, n minus 1, x squared over 2 factorial, and so on. So in our case, to write this first of all, I need to take that factor of 8 out. So when I take the factor of 8 outside, I have to take the power with it. So 8 to the power of 2 thirds. And inside the bracket, I'd have 1 minus 9 eighths x to the power of 2 thirds. So when we talk about the x here, what we actually mean is all of our x term. Okay, so if I tidy up the number outside, the cube root of 8 is 2, 2 squared is 4. So it actually means I'm doing that term. So we're going to leave the 4 outside and using square brackets, if we expand the rest of it, we get 1 plus n is 2 thirds, x is minus 9 eighths of x. n is 2 thirds, n minus 1. You get your x term squared over 2 factorial. Just remember, it is the whole thing squared. Okay, when you type in your calculator. So you get four lots of one plus, uh, what have we got? Two thirds and minus nine eighths is actually going to give us minus three quarters x. And then on the next one, we're going to get minus nine over 64 x squared. Okay, all we're going to do is then multiply through by 4. You get 4 minus 3x minus 9 over uh, 16x squared. Okay, and that's it. That's our three terms. Next one. Now, this one's slightly easier in that it's already in the format we need it in, the 1 plus x. So we get 1 plus n is minus a half. X this time is minus 2x because remember it's all of that term. Then you get n, n minus 1, all of your x terms squared over 2 factorial. That's going to give us 1 plus x. You've got a half and 3 halves are going to give you 3 quarters. You're then going to times that by 4, so that's just 3. And divided by 2, we get 3 over 2 x squared. Okay, and then the last part of this is part B says find the coefficient of x squared in this expression. Now we've already dealt with this at the bottom here in this last question, 1 minus 2x to the minus a half. So this is basically the same as me saying x plus 3 multiplied by 1 minus 2x to the minus a half. This we've already expanded, so I'm actually doing x plus 3 multiplied by, and the answer we just had there, Now, if I want the coefficient of x squared, that just means what number will end up in front of x squared. Now, if you look at this, what you've got is the only terms that are going to give you an x squared is if I multiply the x term by the x, so that's just x squared. And then if I multiply the number by the x squared term, so that's 9 over 2 x squared. That means if I've got 1 plus 9 over 2, that's going to give me 11 over 2 x squared. So my coefficient is just 11 over two. And that's it. That's binomial expansion.